Welcome to today's Gale Force Twins episode, something we are super excited to share. We are going to be building our booth for the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. We are so excited. We're gonna have a double wide booth at this show. And what we did is we pre-built our booth in our Gale Force mom and dad's garage, because they've got more space than us, to see how we would need to set it up. So it's clearly not done, but we've kind of got the idea. We figured out what we needed. We already had stuff from the Miami show, but we definitely need to get some more stuff for Fort Lauderdale because we do have a bigger booth. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be breaking this down, heading to the convention center, and over the next two or three days, not the convention center, Bahi Amar, for the next two or three days, we're actually gonna be setting up this booth. My name's Amanda, Emily's behind the camera, and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Time to get started. So of course, Kona Bear hung out with us and she mostly just supervised and played with her ball and made sure we were doing a good job. And then we had Gale Force Mom helping out, which was super helpful. Doing this with two people is difficult, but doing it with three is a little bit easier, even though it's still difficult. And we basically just broke down the booth, broke down those grid walls, and started loading everything up into our truck and Gale Force Mom's truck. And we did this in a couple trips actually, so it definitely, this was not as quick of a process as we thought it would be. We thought it would be quicker, but it was a lot of work. Then it was time to break down those floors and head to Fort Lauderdale and start setting up our booth. We made it to our booth. Now in Miami, we had a 10 by 10 booth. In Fort Lauderdale, we have actually a 10 by 20. So our booth is double the size. I'm super excited about that. But what was so shocking when we got to the Miami show, which was our first formal boat show that we had a booth at, we were so surprised by how little there was. Everything that you see at a show in these tents, the walls, the floors, all of it is done by each individual company. It's honestly really incredible to see the before and the after. Exactly. So as you can so see, right behind you, Emily, this is what a booth looks like when you come in. So you've got some black flooring, which you really want to put something on top of. Um, some little walls on the side that are not stable, like you can't <laughs> use them to lean on anything. And like a post behind you. And this here is our booth. So we got a 10 by 20. So this here is our flooring um, with all the Yetis and cups. But that's our flooring. And then if I go to the right, that's all our booth. And we have our walls, our grid walls here, which we have to put up and install some more right there and then we have more flooring over here and we don't have our inventory here yet we're probably going to need two full days to set up which is pretty typical so we needed at the last show we need at this show so we did not bring our inventory our tv there's a few other things we still need to bring but we have the backbone of our booth so we're going to get the backbone of our booth set up and then we'll probably come back tomorrow bring the inventory the tv and all the little things that just make it cozy and homey the chairs because there's our a lot long of standing. days and a lot of standing. So let's get to setting up this booth. You can see here, the first thing we did was put up our grid walls. Now this really is the easy part. We basically stand them up and zip tie them all together. Of course, we had to make sure they were secure and it wasn't too wobbly as we are gonna be hanging clothes, hats, and all of our gear from this wall itself. The floor in the tent was pretty uneven, so our entire booth actually slanted forwards. So we put a lot of extra zip ties to keep our booth upright and sturdy. Then it was time to install the floor. Pretty much everyone in the tent will put some kind of flooring in. If not, you just really have a thin carpet over some concrete, and again, it's uneven and just not exactly fun to stand on. We like to do a pattern with our flooring to add some color. As you already know, our business colors are red and black, so we do a black outline and fill the middle in red. We ended up doing two layers of flooring, and this was again because of how uneven the floor was in the tent to begin with. So by adding a second layer, it gave some extra cushion for our feet and kind of helped even the floor out a little bit more. The base of our booth is finished. We're at the end of day one of setup. So you can see we put in our walls and our floor. And that's pretty much all we've done. Now, we did have time to do more, but we wanted to just start with this today because sometimes the tent that we're actually in isn't ready for setup, so we didn't want to come up, come with everything and then it not be ready. So we'll be coming back tomorrow, and tomorrow we are gonna 
I guess get started on inventory randomly. Yeah, we're going to bring all the rods. Rods. And then we're gonna set up, basically the goal, is the booth is supposed to be shoppable? Yes, yeah, so the goal for this, because at, at Fort Lauderdale what we did is we were at able Miami. to- At Miami. Sorry. At Miami what we did is we were able to put like one of each shirt on display so people could see them and then they would have to talk to us about what size they wanted. But the goal for this time was to have a shoppable booth where we could have like multiple shirts out in like each size someone could actually just go and shop themselves. Exactly, so if you look over here, we haven't finished setting up all of them, but this is gonna be a little rack and we're going to have a bunch of shirts hanging up. And we're gonna have this entire booth be shoppable. We even have a mirror over here. So if someone wants to try on a hat or something, they can check themselves out in the mirror and then get going. Now it's time for day two. Okay, on day two, we brought everything else we needed to finish our booth, including all of our inventory. We started with unloading our truck onto dollies and into wagons and then we wheeled everything into the booth. This was actually the easiest part of the day. After we unloaded everything, we basically drive the cars to a parking spot, walk in and start setting up at the actual booth. Amanda started out building some rod racks. Now we already had these from the Miami show, but we loved them so much from the Miami show that we kept them for our personal rod racks and bought some more for the Fort Lauderdale show. And if you look at Emily in the bright blue dolphins shirt, uh, she's sitting in the corner and it looks like she's not really doing any work and she's just scrolling on Instagram. But she was actually promoting our latest YouTube video and answering some Q&A stories on our Instagram page on how to see us at the booth. Once Emily was done, we put our flags up. This was a little bit tricky because these were brand new and we didn't have this at the Miami show. And at first we really couldn't even figure out how to get them attached to the booth. Um, we thought maybe we could stick them into the poles that support that big bar up in the back, but that actually didn't work at all. And thankfully it was a problem that zip ties could solve. The booth is really starting to come together, but we definitely need to get the inventory up. So we started with putting out the fishing rods on the rod racks and just kind of seeing how we wanted to place everything. And then we got the majority of our clothes hanging up. However, we realized we ran out of hangers. So we ordered, I believe a hundred hangers from Amazon and we still didn't have enough. So we were gonna order more and we realized at this point, we're gonna have to come back another day once we get the rest of the hangers in from Amazon. At this point, it started getting pretty late. It was like eight o'clock at night and we took a step back and looked at our booth and we were really happy with how it was coming along, but we did feel like it needed a few final touches just to make it look cleaner. Like if you look behind the grid wall, we just kind of have these blue and white curtains and it's kind of busy and I would just say hard on the eye. So we decided we wanted to purchase um, a black tablecloth basically to use as a curtain for behind our grid wall. So it's easier on the eye when you're looking at our inventory. Now at the Miami show, the curtains hanging up behind us were already black, so we didn't have to do that. This shows us the curtains are blue and white. We realized we wanted to add a black curtain. So again, another quick Amazon purchase, and we will see you on day three to continue setting up. Day three setting up, it's our last and final day. We are so close to being done. We started with hanging up the last of our shirts, organizing any extra inventory in our booth, getting those rods up and ready to go because this was the final day to set up and fine tune any details. Then it was time for the most difficult part of the day, which we didn't think was going to be as difficult as it was until we started doing it. And that was hanging the black curtain behind the grid wall. Now this wouldn't have been as difficult if we had done it right away after putting up those grid walls, but because we had already installed our shirts and our shelves and put everything on the wall, we had a lot to work around and it was definitely very difficult. My shoulders were dying. However, we think it came out absolutely amazing. So worth it. It's so clean, it's so sharp. So let's take a minute, let's see a before. Here's the before our black curtain is up, definitely busy, heavy on the eyes. And here's the after. I mean, this couldn't have turned out any better. Totally worth that last minute Amazon purchase. And here we have the completed or almost completed booth. 95%. 95%. So let's give you guys a quick booth tour for the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. On my left side, your guys is right of the booth. We start with the Gale Force rods, Gale Force reef slayer rod, inshore reef slayer rod, do it all rod, slow pitch rod, and the bass thumb. All of our spinning rods are here. And as we move towards the back corner, we have performance shirts, t-shirts, women's v-necks, Check it out, man. Check it out, man. A sharp buddy. Yes. So we have, this is our men's peacock bass design. It is also available in a woman's v-neck. 
Right here is a woman's V-neck. Emily, can you actually grab one of the woman's V-necks right down yes. here? Okay, turn that around. So that's the woman's peacock bass. But do me a favor and grab the blue mahi woman's right down here. I'm the one that put them up. Okay. Emily did the other side. I'll tell you where they are, don't worry. <laughs> so the woman's V-necks, turn that around. That is our woman's V-neck. Now this is a, one is available in a men's cut and in kids shirts. Yes, so this mahi is available in women's, men's, and kids. This we have in? Men's and women's. Yes. And then we have t-shirts up top. Emily, why don't you grab a Hughes t-shirt out? And while she's doing that, this is one of our men's um, all over mahi ombre designs, along with our, we call this our pelagic camo. Because if you look closely, there's actually fish inside the camo of that. Our newest t-shirt, the Gale Force Hughes t-shirt for those of you guys that follow along know that we have been doing a lot of fishing on our Hughes and this is the, a new design to the t-shirts is the little left chest print. We have our old t-shirts here or I shouldn't say old, our previous designs here. Nothing's old. You can see we have the big chest print versus the little chest print. I kind of like the little left chest print. Nice change of pace. And then towards the center of our booth you can see something's missing. So we had a TV here that we turned on today and it was completely cracked and spider cracked. So usually we have a TV here, which we, we are gonna get one before Wednesday morning and put one up. It's gonna be a TV playing our YouTube channel and just some videos. Of course, we have our big Gale Force banner. And then if we head on over this way, we've got some more men's shirts. We have our little hat corner. So we've got all sorts of hats hanging up. And Emily, why don't you show us the kids' shirts and men's shirts we got? Our newest design is the Insult We Trust Patriotic Tuna Flag Design a yellow fin tuna and a black fin tuna. This is a kid shirt, but this design is available in men's, women's, and kids. And it's honestly probably my favorite, to, fav, most favorite design to, to date. date. Yes, and then we have our red camo. Let me like, grab a red camo. So red this camo. one is available in men's and youth. Yes. So we, if you look closely, we've got some fish in this camo as this is like well. The, it's the reef this is camo. The, this is one of our first designs this we've ever is. made. And fun fact, I actually, personally designed our camos, the blue camo and the red camo. And then for the art, we had some incredible artists that we partnered with. This one was made by Bradley Deal, the Peacock by Kristen Silly, and the Intrepid by RJ Boyle. If you guys are coming to the show or local to the Fort Lauderdale area, you definitely need to come see our Gale Force booth, booth 115 in the entrance tent of Bahia Mar. Now when you come in through that entrance, you're going to take an immediate right and work your way back towards the middle aisle. As you work your way back, you will pass a big set of double doors to head outside. Do not head outside, stay inside the tent. Booth 115 inside of Bahia Mar in the entrance tent. And look for the red and black yes. balloons. So right now we have our banners. There's one banner there. And if I go over, the second banner is right there. We are also going to be hanging red and black balloons as high as we can. So if you look for those balloons, that will help you out and help you find us and we are booth 115 in the Bahia Mar entrance tent. If you can't make it to the show, you can always shop at line at galeforcegear.com, but if you can make it, we look forward to seeing you. In the meantime, we hope you get out there, have fun, and stay safe.